marching along, beating your drums. That's it! Marvelous marching children! Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. <laughs> This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Uh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Beep, beep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I liked the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> this way! Follow me, everyone! <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Swish, splash, splash, swish, splash. Pussy, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie, run. Oh, yes. <laughs> Quick, get the ball. Get it. I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Pepper. Oh, all right. Just try your best, George. <laughs> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> and now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bat and ball, Peppa. OK. Just try your best. Ooh. Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run. <laughs> Catch the ball! I'll get it. Let me get, get the ball. <laughs> Hooray! That's one point! The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again. I'll get it! Yeah. Yeah. It's going the other way! <laughs> round again! Get the ball! I'm scoring lots of points! Get it! Here it comes! Catch the ball! Catch the ball? No. Did you get it, Susie? No. Who's got it? I haven't got it. I win! I win! I am the champion! <laughs> George caught the ball. Hooray! I lose. I lose all my points. Well done, George. <gasps> it's Susie! Hello! Hello, Peppa. Where are you going? We're going.
going to the top. Where are you going? We're going to the bottom. <laughs> Pepper has reached the top. Quick, Daddy. I need to go down to find Susie. I'm coming to find you, Pepper. I'm coming to find you, Susie. Ah, you're, you're going, going the wrong, wrong way. Pepper and George are back at the bottom. But Susie is at the top. I think that's enough escalators for now. But I need to see Susie. Then we can use the lift. Ooh. I need to find Peppa. Then let's take the lift. It's not working. Someone else is using it. We just have to wait. But I need to find... <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Papa, look what I've got. <laughs> Little Susie's in boxes. How did you do that? In the photo booth. I'll show you. This is the photo booth. You sit in here, put the money in there, and then it flashes. It's not flashing. I think it's broken. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's more. Smile. When does it flash? Ah, oh, I missed it again. <laughs> you a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Has it finished yet? <laughs> I think I might be in that one. <laughs> Here are the pictures. Look at all of those funny faces. <laughs> again, again! I think it's time we pick up Mummy Pig. Mummy, did you have a perfect day? Yes, thank you. I did, Pepper. Did you? Yes. We went up and down the magic stairs and we saw Susie and did some funny pictures. That does sound nice. Home time! Daddy Pig, did you have a perfect day? My perfect day starts when we get home. Daddy, what's your perfect day? <laughs> Come and see! <laughs> Whee! Daddy Pig is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. It's the perfect end! To a perfect day! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Daddy. Madam Gazelle said I have to practice. Oh, yes. Practice makes perfect. Will you help me? Of course Daddy Pig will help you. While I, uh, do some work in another room. Susie is practicing too. Yes, that's it. La, 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 la. Very good, Danny. Shall we call that a day? No. Madam Gazelle said I had to keep on trying until I get it right. Pepper and her friends have been practicing their recorders all week. They are giving a concert for the parents. Welcome to our concert. Ready, children? <gasps> Bravo! Bravo! Ah. Bravo! Haven't the children worked hard? Yes, it was a very good experience for them. It's hard to think it was only for a week of our lives. And now it's over. Children, for our next concert, I want you to learn this tune. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Go home and practice, practice, practice. Pepper loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. <laughs> <laughs>
What a lovely card. Open it. Ah, glitter. Yes, we used all the glitter. How wonderful. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves glitter. Everyone loves glitter. <laughs> now, let's make a Father's Day cake. What can we put in the cake? <laughs> yes, George. Daddy does like cereal. <laughs> and tomato ketchup. <laughs> I'm not sure Daddy Pig likes ketchup in cake. Daddy does like ketchup. <laughs> Everyone likes tomato ketchup. Cheese. Yes, George. Daddy loves cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, what's going on here? <gasps> Daddy, don't look. It's a surprise. You were supposed to be watching racing cars on TV. I thought I would get up and do something. You could always cut the grass. Daddy can't work on Daddy's Day, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. You can give me and George piggyback rides. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hard work not working. <laughs> now it's time for your tea party. This way, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Thank you, Peppa. And is there any cake? Oh, yes, the cake. Here it is, Pepper. But I'm not sure it's the sort of cake that can actually be eaten. Yes, it is. It is the best cake ever. George and me made it all ourselves. Fantastic. I can't wait to try it. Mm -hmm. What's in it? All your favourite things. Mmm. Tasty. Did you have a nice day, Daddy? <laughs> yes, Pepper and George. It was super. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves Father's Day. Everybody loves Father's Day. You pick a marble and you put it in here. And it goes tumble-tumble all the way down to the bottom. Ooh. I'll show you. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> again, again! Bye-bye, Mummy. You can go and do your work now. Oh, thank you, Peppa. Have fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Rebecca. You take this marble and you... Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And then you can add some more bits to the marble run. Let's make it the biggest marble run ever. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Let's add this wiggly bit. And a windmill bit. The marble will make it go round and round. Do you want to have a go, George? <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's going down the windmill bit. And the wiggly bit. And there. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Let's add more bits. Yes! Let's make the biggest marble run ever! <laughs> wow! That looks good, Rebecca! Now it's Richard's turn! Marble run! Richard has lots of marbles! <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Look at all the marbles going everywhere! <laughs> I thought I heard your marble run, Pepper. Can I join in? Yes, Daddy. Oh, goody. Let's make it bigger. Daddy Pig loves building the marble run. Ah, there are no more bits of marble run left in the box. Oh. Never mind. We can use other things. What's hysterical redemactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? We march around saying Vini, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? 
It probably means anyone for another cup of tea. No. It means I came, I saw, I conquered. Benny Vidi Vici. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Benny Vidi Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. It's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Pepper? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess from this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pepper. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931. Most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? Dinosaur. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Pepper will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <coughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> Are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. My favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Pepper. You can decide in the morning. Oh, no! What's the matter, Pepper? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Pepper? Then we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Pepper. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Hmm. OK, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La, 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. <laughs> it's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh. I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! 
Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. Are you a carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> there we had a little lamb. Oh, yes! Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. <laughs> I like that one. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Peppa. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <clears throat> hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Ran away with the spoons. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons and cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger? Little finger on my right. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. Oh, yes. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. I like that one. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Peppa. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <clears throat> hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes 
running away with spoons and cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger? Little finger on my right. <laughs> it's a lovely sunny day and the market has come to town. Apples, apples, get your apples here. Cheese, a smelly cheese, fish, nice fresh fish. Each market stall sells one thing. Apples, cheese, fish. Mr Fox's stall sells everything. Violins, casters, rocket engines. <laughs> Pepper and her family have come to the market to do their shopping. Fresh apples! Can we buy some apples, please? What kind would you like? Big or small? Red or green? We would like the apples that taste nice. Why don't you try one? Hmm, lovely. A bag of the lovely apples, please. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez! Jeez! George loves cheese. <laughs> I've got a very smelly cheese here. Uh, maybe Daddy Pig uh, should give it a sniff. <laughs> the smell of the cheese has knocked Daddy Pig off his feet. Wow, that's what I call a strong cheese. Good, isn't it? Mmm, yum, yum. George likes smelly cheese. <laughs> May we buy that one, please? Of course. Thank you. Fish, nice fresh fish. Can we buy some fish, please? OK, I've got trout, addock, mackerel or squid. What would you like? They all look good. How about I give you some of each? Then you can make a lovely fish pie. Fish pie? Yummy. There you go. Thank you very much. Fish, apples, cheese. Here is Mr Fox's store. Bananas, flower yeah. tools, handbags. I'm selling anything, really. What do you want? Nothing, thank you. We've bought everything we need. Apples, cheese and fish. Always look where you're going. Then... <laughs> Dr Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolls through a prickly bush. Ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is here. Oh, yes. Everyone into the ambulance. <laughs> Don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> <laughs> Be 
because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. I have a sticker! I have a sticker. I have a sticker. Oh. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. <laughs> up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no. The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <laughs> it's okay. I've caught it. <laughs> oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. Hello? Miss Rabbit's rescue service? Mr Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I should be the queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be the queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! Goodbye. How can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon! Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! There. Ah! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Potato. Thank you! We need some new clothes for George, please. <coughs> well, you're in luck. This is a clothes shop. <laughs> First, we need to measure you. <coughs> now hold your arms out. George thinks you're going to tickle him. I promise I won't tickle you, George. Very good. What a big, strong boy you are. <coughs> <coughs> you see, George, Miss Rabbit didn't tickle you, did she? No. But I will. <laughs> George loves being tickled. Right, let's find George some new clothes. How about this? It will keep you very warm. Ooh. If George would kindly go into the changing booth, please. George is wearing a big, thick, woolly jumper. You look cuddly, George. <laughs> mm, I don't think white is the best colour for puddle jumping. Hmm. This isn't white. It's every other colour but white. George, you look like a clown. No. George does not want to look like a clown. Hmm. Too much colour. What about this, then? Now you look like a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's still not really George. Hmm. What about this, then? Basically, it's what you had before. Oh, yes. <laughs> George, you look like you. What do you think, George? Hooray! <laughs> George likes his new clothes. <laughs> Daddy, we're home. Oh, so George didn't get any new clothes, then. These are his new clothes, Daddy Pig. The same as before, but no holes. <laughs> ho, ho, I see. Can we play in the garden now, Mummy? Yes, let's all play in the garden. Broom has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish 
Goldie. Oh, oh, oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, Ooh. what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! wow. <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriel. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Pepper. Let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes. I miss her very much. To Goldie. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Peppa. <sniffs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Peppa loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. <sniffs> Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear. It's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. Pepper and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we ring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. I do hope we're feeding Goldie enough. That's a nice teapot, Mr. Bull. Yes, Pepper. <gasps> it's made of delicate china. Mr. Bull likes delicate china. You have to be very, very careful with china. Why? Because china can break very easily. <coughs> That's why I always... <gasps> Oh, dear. Mr Bull has smashed the teapot to pieces. Oh, no! I put it down too hard. I don't know my own strength. Maybe we can fix it, boss. Oh, I've got cement. 
I've got a rivet gun. It's not gonna work, lads. I know. Miss Rabbit has a china shop. She could mend it. Good idea, Mummy Pig. We'll go right now. Can I come too? We'll all go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Bull is going to the china shop. This is Miss Rabbit's china shop. There we are. Hello, can I help you? Moo! Ah! A ball in a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh, dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> Oh, these two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Peppa. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny-shaped bit left. Where does that go? <laughs> the teapot's handle, Miss Rabbit. Oh, so it is. I don't know much about china teapots. It's as good as new. Be careful not to smash it again. Oh, I am very good at smashing things. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Pepper has found a top hat. <laughs> Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick-on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? I want to be the clown. But Peppa, where is your clown costume? Okay, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. Okay, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! Okay. You be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes, I'll be the ringmaster. <laughs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible. The amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> Look at George, Richard, and Edmund on tricycles. <laughs> Don't stop clapping. It's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> it is Mr. Bull and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bull. Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky. 
lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the Chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! <laughs> Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh. Where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now. Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. Ooh. This is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh, shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Ho, ho. OK, Peppa. All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. <laughs> it is morning. George, let's look at our flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, baby plants. Morning. Ah, your plants have started to grow. Soon they'll have flowers on them. A little snail has come to take a look. Oh, dear. Snails like eating plants. Grandpa Pig, can you take Barbara to your garden? Um, OK. I'll take care of Barbara. It is one week later. Peppa! George! Come and look! My flowers! They're so pretty! And look at George's plant. It's a beanstalk. And it goes all the way up to a giant's castle. Oh, oh, no, Peppa. But it does go quite high. George's flower is taller than our house. Oh, ho, ho. George has grown a sunflower. Well done, George. <laughs> I love our flower garden. Now let's make you a vegetable garden. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. Like tomatoes, carrots and potatoes. I do like a nice potato. Daddy Pig loves potatoes. <laughs> Everyone loves potatoes. <laughs> Hello. Can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up and down and round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. It's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello. Break down recovery. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello, fire service. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! <laughs> <laughs> 
Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Danny Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. <laughs> Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Careful you don't hit that big stick, Grandpa! That's a mooring post. I won't hit it. Oh. Grandpa, there's a big hole in your boat. It's just a scratch. Ooh, Grandpa's boat is sinking. Quick, Grandpa Pig, jump off! A captain never leaves his sinking ship. Grandpa Pig's boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. It is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Lovely day for a sail. Um, yes. Ahoy there. I'm taking my boat to the boatyard today. Going to get a few repairs done. Uh, would you mind taking my boat to the boatyard too, please? Of course. Where is your boat? Um, I'm standing on it. Oh, -ho! has it sunk? Uh, well, a little bit. I'm surprised your boat didn't sink a long time ago. What? It's a better boat than that rust bucket of yours. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are very best friends. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! <laughs> Grandad Dog's truck has lifted Grandpa Pig's boat out of the water. Wow! Next stop, the boatyard! What's a boatyard? A boatyard, Pepper, is where broken boats get mended. This is Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Ahoy there, me hearties! Ahoy there, Grampy Rabbit! Ooh, who did that to your boat, Grandpa Pig? Um, someone drove it into a mooring post. It went crash and made a big hole there. You should never let other people steer your boat, Grandpa Pig. Uh, yes. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig, you're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy's to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight! Whee! 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 <laughs> fire! Fire! Ding dong! Ding dong! <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yes! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Hooray! 
Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The Mummy's Fire Engine Service. Oh. Yo-ho-ho! Ho. Everyone has come dressed as pirates. <laughs> Yo-ho-ho! Ho. Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Yee-haw! <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It is Grandad Dog dressed as a pirate. <laughs> Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling o'er the brainy seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirates talk. If you want to play my pirate game, say arr. Arr. Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Arr! Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swaddled by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog took my treasure. Oh! No, you. The Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah! Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hog's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Hooray! Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away! What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yee haw! <laughs> oh there! Put your life jackets on! <laughs> what a splendid picnic! Please may George and I leave the table. And play with Zoe. Yes, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, I've got my teddy. I've got my monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a toy picnic set. Let's play picnics. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. They always turn up when we have a picnic. We've got pretend orange juice. And we've got pretend cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretend cake. It's very nice. Oh, dear. I do not think the ducks want pretend cake. Oh, well, that means there's more for Monkey, Mr Dinosaur and Teddy. Mmm, delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says... The best cake ever! <laughs> Peppa, George, home time! Bye-bye, Zoe. Bye-bye. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> home time for us too, Zoe. Yes, Daddy. Cups, plates, monkey, Teddy. Oh, no! You shouldn't be here, Teddy. Peppa has forgotten her Teddy. Again. Pepper and her family are home. Ah, oh, that's enough driving for one day. All I want to do now is relax. Put my feet up and watch some... Teddy! I forgot Teddy! Oh, Pepper. Now Daddy Pig will have to drive all the way back to the picnic spot. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> it's Mr Zebra, the postman. I thought it was your day off today, Mr Zebra. It is my day off, but Zoe's got a very special delivery for a Miss Peppa Pig. Here you are, Peppa. What is it? It's Teddy! <coughs> I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, who gave away Daddy's chair? Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. 
Pepper, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Pepper. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I will miss my jack-in-the-box. Can I buy this jack-in-the-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy, that's because... Shh, Pepper. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need for a new school roof. Hooray! Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? <laughs> what do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George... Why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great. Happy birthday, George. <laughs> now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest. Over a hill, round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we've buried it? Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro, don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello? Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, Mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, 
dear! How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map! Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, an X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful. Especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bother! Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, bobbing, bobbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Ha-ha! <laughs> right you are. Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover. Hooray! What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Pepper. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Beepsy Diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? <laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to your hat, George. 
Oh dear, the wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I can reach it! I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. <laughs> I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. <laughs> oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> this is the Soft Play Center, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide, and play. This is great. The children are having so much fun. Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end. <laughs> The little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it. I'll have to go in. Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant. Help, we're stuck. <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't. You'll get stuck. It's a trap. Ah, I'm stuck. Daddy Pig, Pepper, and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Help! Help! We're, We're stuck! stuck. Ho, ho! That usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both. But it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Pepper. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Today, we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing-up box to help you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Pepper. You have plenty of time to think about it. Okay. When I grow up, I want to be the Queen. 
so I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, 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 Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo! <laughs> what else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh! There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Uh -huh. Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo-ho-ho. -ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh, yes, being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. It is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr. Wolf. Hello, Mr. Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well, catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here, in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. What is that monstrosity? Is it allowed as a sailing 
sailing. Hello! What a marvelous day for sailing! Hello, Grumpy Rabbit! Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> ah! Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself! You'd never guess, would you? <laughs> We don't need that bit. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's uh... all right, then. Ah! <laughs> ah, nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh, always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you, thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes! He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave <laughs> Mr. Potato goodbye. <laughs> oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. I cannot get out! Mr. Potato is stuck! Help! Let me out! What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato! Let me out! Super, Super Potato! Super I think he might be Super too potato. busy to come! No, really? Really, Super I do potato. not think that will work this time! No, Madam Gazelle, you just need to shout out with us! Okay! Help us, Super, Super potato. potato! There, it didn't work! Now I think we What's need to... What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, you have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. Super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. Hooray! And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven! Always remember to eat your seven. <laughs> <laughs> Carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs. Crocodile and Mr. Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs. Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes. Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> What animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting. 
to pounce! Ah! Ooh, butterflies. butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, -ho! lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> right, are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? It's the Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> That is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh, we thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good breaking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher, and I wasn't Off supposed you to go. be talking. Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Breaks. Oh, yes. Breaks. Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you. You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. Very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh, the police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! -hoo. Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. Oh, who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Pepper loves the police. Everyone loves the police. That's a lot of shopping. It's everything on Granny Pig's list. Where's the car? 
I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Hello, taxi service. A taxi will be with you shortly. Sorry, I'm just popping out. Back in a mo. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty-ho, hop in. <laughs> So you've been shopping. Lots of shopping about these days. Shopping for this, shopping for that. Shopping, shopping, Miss shopping. Rabbit, why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Peppa. Ah. Mind you, I had Mr Potato in the back of the car the other day. I thought he'd be... Well. Granny Pig is going away for a few days. Grandpa Pig will be on his own. This is a tin of food. To get the food out, you will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water, Yes, then... yes, I know. <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. We've got the shopping. But why are you not at the airport, Granny? Oh, yes. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the airport, please. Of course. Hop in. Thank you. Daddy, can we wave Granny goodbye at the airport? OK. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. Going to the airport, are you? Yes. And actually, we're in a bit of a hurry. Hurry in here, hurry in there. Why are people always in a hurry? Granny Pig has a plane to catch. She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, are you talking like a taxi driver again? Yes. The taxi has arrived at the airport. Goodbye, my little ones. Bye-bye, Granny. Bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Bye-bye, Mr Wolf. Pepper and George love waving goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Daddy, how are we getting home? In the taxi. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Talk? Yes, people talk too much these days, don't they? Talk, 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 talk. Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here! Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Oh. Grumpy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. Oh, oh you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry. <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Oh, stop, Mr Wolf. Uh, there's not enough room for you. Oh, dear. I've got an idea. 
You wait here, Grumpy Rabbit, and we'll go over. All right. I could do with the rest. Mr Wolf and Mr Pig are crossing the river together. I'm really hungry now. Hooray! We're here! Hello, Daddy. Where's the picnic? Oh. Grampy Rabbit is waiting with the picnic. I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. Oh, oh you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grampy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across, like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry. <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! <laughs> Here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or stakes? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Pepper. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <gasps> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? <gasps> yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr Bull. Bye-bye. Bye. George put the sticky mud down. And I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house. It's finished! If I take this rubber duck and hide it where you can see it, do you think you could find it? Daddy! If we can see it, you haven't hidden it. Watch this. I will put the duck here. Now, you tell me where it is. There. Exactly. It's too easy, Daddy. It won't always be so easy, Peppa. Who wants to go first? Because it's an easy game, George can go first. OK, you all wait here. Daddy Pig is putting the rubber duck somewhere for George to find. The duck is somewhere in your bedroom. George is looking for the rubber duck. <laughs> <laughs> but it is quite difficult to find. Oh. George, you can see it. Just look with your eyes. George is using his eyes to look for the rubber duck. 
You're getting warmer. Colder. Warm again. George has found the rubber duck. Hooray! I saw it straight away. This game is too easy. <laughs> OK, Peppa's turn. I will do the hiding this time. Mummy Pig is going to put the rubber duck somewhere for Peppa to find. I will see it straight away. Ready! The rubber duck is somewhere in the kitchen. I've come to find you, rubber ducky. I know where you are. You're in the sink. Oh. The rubber duck is not in the sink. I know. You're hiding under the table. The rubber duck is not under the table. Give me a clue, please. It's sitting with something else that's yellow. Something yellow that lives in the kitchen. Bananas! There you are! Wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Peppa, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please! Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. <coughs> Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Fairies, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <laughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. <laughs> George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. Ugh. He had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No. He jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Ooh. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. We simply pour the oil into the engine and... Oh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. It's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly, but this looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh! And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. 
ho, ho. Watch this. The camper van's roof is lifting up. Look, it's the ducks. Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa Ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. Oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. It is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead. Into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes. It's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> oh, our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. <coughs> uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sailing on the river in the camper van. <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> Let's find some more wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> a wriggly worm. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. You're a wiggly worm. You're a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. You're a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Be a good wiggly worm and turn it all into compost. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then I can use the compost to... I know, I know. You put a seed in the ground, cover it in compost and it grows into a tree. Oh, oh. yes, Pepper. And talking of trees, we'd better go and help Granny Pig. She's collecting fruit in the orchard. What's the orchard? It's where you find fruit trees. We've had this orchard since I was a little piggy. <laughs> Hello, Granny Pig. Granny Pig. Are you going to help me collect some apples? Yes, Granny. Oh, the apples are too high up. Don't worry, Pepper. Granny and Grandpa have a little trick to collect the apples. Everybody hold on to the tree. On the count of three, shake the tree as much as you can. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> it's raining apples! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Granny, can we have an apple, please? Of course, Peppa. Mmm, delicious. And can you guess what we do with the apple cores? Uh. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. That's right. <laughs> the apple cores go into the compost for the worms. Clever, George. <laughs> Clever wiggly worms, too. <laughs> <laughs> George, Richard, you've knocked my house down. Please play something not bouncy. <laughs> George has made the toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaurs! George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. I say potato. And I say potato. Potato! Potato! The good thing about rainy days potato. is we get to watch important potato. TV programs. Potato! 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 Mummy! 
George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land. And dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. Bye-bye, <laughs> Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! ...pick you up later. <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. That's just a drawing. Yes. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! <laughs> The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. <laughs> you look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. <laughs> Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off, get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig has lost the wasp. Well done, Daddy Pig. All that extra running means we've got enough money for a new school bus, too. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> the washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Pepper, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy. My red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Peppa. But look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Peppa's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh. Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. <laughs> no, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! 
George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Go! Yes! your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Pepper and George love Grandpa's little train. <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Pepper. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <coughs> oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. 
It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> the instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh! Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> but there's no room for these last two. Oh, poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live? Why not simply order another easy-to-make cupboard? No! I've got a better idea. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But, Mummy, that's where they lived before. Yes, I know. That's why it's such a good idea. 